All right, people, we have got a serious problem going on. So the other day, I'm riding around in the Ranger, and I keep hearing this like clacking, clanking, rackety sound. And I really thought that it was like an axle going out, a rear diff. I, I didn't know what it was, but it kept going. And then I ended up stopping, uh, reloading what I was doing. We were filling up feeders, and so it got reloaded, started driving again, and it got really loud. And I looked back, and my rear tire is just doing this number. I'm like, man, is it the hub bearing going out? So I stop and I park, and this is what I find. Two missing lug nuts, and not just two missing lug nuts, but two broken wheel studs. And I'm thinking, what in the world? How does this happen? I don't even know what. I mean, I, it's been a long time since I've had the tires off or done any kind of work, and I'll admit it's been a long time since I checked the lug nuts. So it is a good reminder, you might check your lug nuts after every few rides or so, make sure that they're all tight. What we're gonna do today, I've got four wheel stud replacements and we're gonna see if we can get the broken ones out. But I'm also gonna change the two that were remaining because apparently I was driving for some time with them broken and so a lot of stress being put on those two. And I'm gonna change all four so that we have fresh, strong wheel studs and then I've got new lug nuts and we'll be ready to rock. So I'm gonna set the camera up and I'll talk through the process. Hopefully this helps you out in case you have sheared wheel studs or you have stripped wheel studs. Either way, this will be a video tutorial of how to replace them. Here's a closer look, the two sheared ones. I think what we need to do to replace them, I'm gonna get a, a punch, go to tapping on them, and I'm sure that I can get the broken ones out. I really wanna be able to get the new ones in without having to take the dang hub off, but we'll see. Come on, baby. I'm gonna stand up and hit it, see if that helps. I can't get it to budge. Might have to get a sledgehammer. I started to hit on the ones that are left and then now I'm thinking, golly, I might need to leave them just because I can't even get the other two out. After a little bit more assessment, I've determined that there's actually no way that I can get the new ones on without taking the entire assembly apart. And that's because I can't get the new stud behind the plate in order to run it through. So I'm gonna take the caliper off and then take off the whole hub assembly and then I'll disassemble the cal uh, the rotor it, from the hub. And then I'll have access to be able to pound on these without being all attached to the machine and everything. I can put it over a vise or something, something sturdy. I also called my brother. He's gonna stop at the auto parts store. He's on the way and he's gonna get a Pittman arm puller. We might have to use that in order to get the sheared ones out. You can see here we've got the caliper loose. There's two bolts. One up here and then the same one down here, the 15 millimeter. Just so you know, if you ever need to change your brake pads or take the caliper off for any reason, 15 millimeter. Next step will be to get this pin out, cotter pin, and then we'll remove the axle nut and the washers and this should come off. We're about to take this axle nut off and it'd be handy for you to go buy a one and one sixteenths big old deep socket here. Drilling a hole in it. I feel like it's going in. We it's just right. gotta. We just gotta. Uh, space. Yeah, that's space. Boom, she's out. Anybody gonna eat that? How 
about one more? Did it break the It's the next day and we've got all of the wheel studs replaced in our hub and uh, we just took the use of a pitman arm puller to press them out because of the way that a couple of the, the two had sheared or one of the two had sheared it was like at an angle so I had to get a drill bit and grind it down so that the little tip on the whatever you call that post of this pitman puller would kind of settle down in it and we could press them out and then the the originals had they have this kind of indention and so the posts sat down on them really nicely and we were able to get all of them out so we went ahead and replaced all four as you can see here so now that we've got them all replaced we're going to go ahead and put everything back together and we should be good to go hope this video helps you in case you have any sheared or bent or stripped wheel studs thanks for watching we'll see you next time